Some thought terminating cliches have longer lifespans than others in Mormonism, but one that I think has absolutely done its time and needs to be retired is the whole, if you don't believe anymore, why do you pay so much attention to the church? Gay teens ending themselves, child sex abuse cover-ups, the fact that people, including children, are being lied to and controlled by a billion dollar org founded by a pedo, the church demanding 10% of people's income even when they live in abject poverty, only for that income to go unused and just hoarded by the church, people's families being torn apart just because someone decides they don't believe in the religion they were raised in anymore because the us versus them like conditioning is so strong in Mormonism. Take your pick of reasons people still care about Mormonism after they leave it. Outside of the fact that it's just been like their whole lives up to this point. Feigning ignorance of any reason anyone might care that their loved ones or other human beings in general are part of an organization that is harming people is not the clever roast you think it is. And being indifferent to abuses of power is not the noble path you think it is. It's normal and healthy to want to help others after you leave an abusive organization. We're not talking about some cute little community here. We're talking about an enormously wealthy and powerful organization committing crimes against humanity and an organization that most ex-Mormons were raised to be psychologically dependent on. So they know how how deep the brainwashing goes and what it takes to deconstruct it. Former members of high demand religions and cults are the most effective way to get people out according to cult experts and these groups know this which is why every high demand religion and cult demonizes people who leave, demonizes people who leave and speak out even harder and of course denies or belittles any information that's critical of the group.